Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and I'm back again with John Riggs. And we have it for you. This is the PlayStation VR Buyer's Guide. A lot of people have been asking mm -hmm. for this. Talking about the hardware, talking about some of the must-own games. This is going to be an awesome video. I know. Let's take a look. Alright, we're gonna start with the hardware. Sure. Okay. Here's the hardware. Yes. It is literally <laughs> a, uh, it, it's the, this is your PlayStation VR. You do need to have a PlayStation 4 to play it, and we'll talk about that uh, momentarily. Um, but it's all kind of all in here, all in there. It has this button. Now, this is the Model 1. There's a Model 2 as well. Very important to know. Very important to know. Um, this one, the Model 1, has the button on the bottom. The Model 2 has the button on the top. Simply enough, you pull it out. You put it over your head. I can do this too. Right. Oh, a and live demo. Here we I, go. I wear prescription glasses too, and a lot of people have asked, well, I can't play because yeah. I wear glasses. No, this is actually fit. Uh, so you can wear glasses, like the big old thick ones I'm wearing even. And it literally just kind of slips on your head, locks it into place. Look at this. Yeah. There's a little button on the back, a little twist thing. If you really want to be locked in, I never, I never use that at all. I find it actually really comfortable. I mean, surprisingly, you know, it, it said, I mean, for a relatively inexpensive VR device, Right. by the way, you look so cool right now. Is this the coolest thing ever? <laughs> I know it. But I mean, it is a, cause so I don't wear glasses and sure. I find it to be very comfortable. It's right. light, it's well balanced, which is key. You can play it for, a, you know, a long period of time and it doesn't feel like it's, it's gonna be pushing forward or falling forward. Um, also too, uh, I guess one of the things that's really important to know is that you can calibrate it at any time if it does get off of center by sure. holding down, I think it's like the option button on your controller. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then once your PlayStation 4 recognizes that there is a PSVR attached or involved, um, you can also go in just through the settings and say, okay, you can like, you know, track your eyes where your, yeah. you know, where your eye placement is or anything like that. I honestly haven't had to touch that a whole lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. but it's, um, it, it is, it's, it's really lightweight, really comfortable. It doesn't feel top heavy. There's there's some VR units that are like you know really thin in the back, and then it has this huge yeah chunk of clunk right in your face. So no, they they, they nailed it out of the park here. And the one thing I would say is that uh, a tell on here as far as version one versus versus version two sure. is this right here is that little you can see it back here on mine. Yeah. So this is version two, and it has these little things where you can put the headphones. Right. It's this little star looking thing. Oh, there. absolutely. And then also on top of that too, where your headphone jack is back here. The headphone jack on the Model 1 is right here. Oh, I saw so that, it's, okay. So the cord is also, the, that's the difference between the two as well. Yeah. This cord's a little bit more, it's not bad, but it's a little bit more cumbersome than the Model 2. Uh, still works great though, but then your volume control and your microphone um, or your headphone jack um, is in the cord oh, while on that device, it's all it's all in the headset. I didn't which, know that. See, I've always had the Model, model 2. That's when Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So I, I started out with the Model, no, I started out, my brother had the Model 1. This was the thing too, because when this thing came out, 400 bucks right, right out of the game. Yeah. So you're paying 400 bucks for a PlayStation 4, 400 bucks for a VR. So I waited for about a year before I finally got one. My brother had one day one, so I borrowed his a few times. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I finally uh, took the dive, I got I ended up getting the Model 2 and uh, was happy with both. So I played a lot, Model 1, Model 2, on a PlayStation 4 and both also on a PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah, so I guess now's a, a, a time to talk about sort of like the difference between, you know, I mean, do you need a PlayStation 4 Pro? It helps. Yeah. You don't need one though. Right. Um, there's, there's the only difference is I can tell is there might be a little bit more definition. Some games, you look at the back of the box and it says, you know, PlayStation 4 Pro Enhanced. Oh. It's more of a graphics thing. So you might see a little bit more, oh, like if there's a pebble road, maybe the pebbles look a little bit more defined, you know, the leaves and the trees. Uh, but I'm so immersed playing these games yeah. that to me, I don't notice a huge difference unless I see it side by side. Yeah, okay. All right, so so that's the actual headset right there. This but, is. But this is a really important part of it right here. So this is the, what was it? You looked this up, it was the processing unit? Oh, the unit. processing unit. Yeah, so this changes as well, depending on whether you have the original model or right. the second one. Um, so this is the, the original model right here. Which, this is the model one. I like how it does that. Yeah, it's protective. It's very protective. It does that so you can, when you do that, I'm gonna do a little, another live demonstration here. So when you plug this in, <laughs> that locks it into place. So even if something happens here, you're not wiggling these, you could probably still yank them out, um, but you're not gonna get that weird pull on the uh, side of it there too. And then also uh, all the connectors here in the back too, including uh, you have a micro USB, which plugs into your PlayStation 4 Pro or your PlayStation 4. Um, and it also has its own power source too. So yeah. you'll need a, a secondary power source um, when you're playing this. Yeah. 
yeah, there's a lot going on with these, but uh, the other thing to notice or to know about this is that really from what I read that the second model is really designed for if you have a 4K television and you're going to oh. be passing HDR. Right. Uh, you know, because the cool thing about the, the PlayStation VR is that you can have it hooked up. Like I have it hooked up all the time, but you don't have to use it. So sure. it's only when you turn it on that the PlayStation recognizes it and then it, it does all this extra stuff here. But right. you can play it for months at a time with it hooked up. And the nice thing is that you know, depending on the processing unit, it'll pass that normal sure. PlayStation footage to your television as it, it should. Yes. Uh, if you're using a Model 1 through a 4K TV, some people actually have to literally unhook it or they get right. like a little secondary switch that can go back and forth and all that. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with the PlayStation, the, the VR Model 1. It, there really isn't, except for, you know, if you're going through all these things, you know, I don't... Yeah, it's, it's just something to be aware of if you have a 4K television. For sure, so. absolutely. Uh, so getting okay, so that's that's kind of everything you need to know about that. But there are many different ways to play games on the PlayStation <sighs> VR. There right? are. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, we can start with the DualShock. Yeah. So this is how you play most games. This is how I normally play right. a lot of games because they know you have one. Yes. Right? Of course. And also too because of oh, I guess we should also mention the camera. Is that oh yes, <laughs> you do need a camera as well because once you light it up, yeah. um, like how your PlayStation Four has this little uh, yes. That's what reminded me of, of the camera. <laughs> of the light. Yeah. Uh, this thing lights up yeah. like that, but with all these different things. And that's what gives you what they call uh, six degrees of freedom. Yes. Then you might see that with VR. There's a three degrees of freedom, which is like left and right and up and down, and also that 3D depth. Uh, but six degrees also means if I step back here yeah. in game, you actually move back a little bit too. Yeah. Um, which is a very cool thing. It is. I mean, it, it adds an extra level like you're really there because when your head's moving, it's tracking sure. it through the camera. Well, you need that. Some, like on some games, like you're looking at something or you can like look at a little bit closer yeah. a little bit deeper and yeah. it actually you can get right in there or just clip through it if you want to you know and the same thing with the controller again that's why right. it reminded me of this because in, in many games you do see physically or you right. know, virtually you see the, 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 the controller in the game. Sure, because your controller becomes the gun, for instance, or yeah. something like that. So yeah. it turns into, um, that shows you where it is and how yeah. it's placed um, in game compared to your headset and all that. Yeah. Very, very cool. You, that is very cool. And then there's a couple games that use these. And it's so funny that we're now talking with the Move <laughs> controller when we used to make fun of it on the PlayStation 3. It was hilarious yeah. because, um, and the PlayStation uh, VR Move controllers are PlayStation 3 Move controllers. Yeah. Um, you can get the bundle unit that comes with these two, and or you can buy them separately. They go for like what, eighty, a hundred bucks. You can. I, well, I, it used to be you'd be able to find these. Oh, you know, Goodwill's. The, yeah, 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 yeah. And even GameStops were yeah. blowing these things out, which I think I got one really cheap, and then after right. I got the VR, I tried to find a second one, and that's when I realized the prices were going up because other people were looking as well. Yeah, that happens. I bought yeah. I bought both of mine at a local uh, video game store for like twenty bucks each or something like that. It's one of those instances where. Uh, you, you you want the VR, but you're like, I don't need the move controllers. But then once you start checking out the other games and stuff like that, eventually you're like, you know what? I might want the move controllers. So yeah. you don't need them up front, but you're going to want them eventually probably because some games mm -hmm. are both. You can use the DualShock or the move controllers. And then some games are move specific as yeah. in you can't even play the game. The game won't even start. Yeah, I ran into that as well where I I didn't have these turned on. I didn't realize that it needed them and I, and I couldn't select stuff off of the <laughs> menu. I was like, what's going on it's here? It's broken. Yeah, but so when we get into the games, we'll talk about the ones that we think are probably better or at least require either oh, requires sure. them or it is yeah. better with them because I know there's a couple games where I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so much better with these. Absolutely, and there and on the flip side too, there's a few games that are that you can use the move controllers. I still prefer the DualShock. Okay, for one reason or another, like whether it be because some games like require pushing a button and then doing something to walk forward, I'd rather right. just use the analog to walk forward. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, and then you have this here, which I thought was really cool. This is the best of both worlds. Yeah, <laughs> this is the aim controller. Uh, available separately, and a lot of times you can also find this bundled with other games too. In fact, I, I purchased this with a bundle of one of the games I'm going to show off here uh, hmm. pretty soon. Um, it is, it's an all in one. It is it's so cool. So it, it, it obviously it charges as well and keeps a, like it does. It, it has a lithium ion battery. So it does, it sure does. Yeah. Um, and you can use that, you can actually use that like a DualShock controller if you'd like. There's two analog sticks on it. Yeah, the dual, yeah, right here. You, That's got, cool. you got the buttons. Here's your, um, at the very end here, that's your triangle square buttons wow, and all that. It's so L and R buttons on the side. That's yeah, crazy. Um, your options and shares uh, up there too. So with a game like that, and there's several other, there's several shooters that you can use the analog to walk around, but then you're also holding it like, well, I, yeah. I'd say a proper gun. I, I don't know how proper of a gun that is. Yeah. But, but it gets the job done. Your, your trigger is just your R2 and all that, and you have your L2 over there for options. And um, 
Hmm. It, I, I want to get you. One you want that so cool. that immersive experience yeah. in something like that? It really, really, um, it really comes in handy, and it's just, it's just fun. Yeah, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's kind of a, a quick overview of the hardware, but uh, sure. you know, it's all about the games, and let's, let's just check out some of them. Let's do it. Okay, you got a bunch of games here. I do. How, how many do you have that you recommend people get? Oh, there's so many I want to recommend, but I narrowed it down to 12. If okay. That's okay. Very cool. All right, we're going to start with, uh, let's go with the traditional Resident Evil 7. Oh my gosh, this game, <laughs> this will stop your heart in VR. I mean, First off, I want to say that you guys are probably looking at footage right here and you'd be like, oh, what's the big deal? No, 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 no. Trust me, when you right. are playing this game in VR, you're going to poop your pants. It is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I don't remember pooping my pants. Oh, dude, I was. it was freaking me out. It was awesome. <laughs> it is cool, um, especially when you're looking at it through the VR and then you also have your headphones in yes. so you can't hear the surrounding sound behind you and all that. Um, it's Resident Evil 7 and you can play this without VR too, but right. it's really, really, I think they really built it for uh, the VR aspect. Um, I'd recommend getting the gold version, the gold edition, is the version that has all the DLC as well. Oh man, I didn't know they did that. And the DLC huh. uh, on top of that is, um, no, not all DLC is in VR, so keep that in mind too, but there's a couple of VR missions that are on there. One of them that happens after, like after the, the story mode, I'm not gonna spoil the story, but after the story hmm. mode, then you play through that mode too. Um, and there's also a special VR mode that deals with the son in this game who likes to play games and have some fun. I wish they would do that spin-off as its own game. It's so I fun had just by no itself. Idea. Oh, I'm picking that up. Uh, That's so cool. <laughs> and the cool thing is, some of these games too have been out long enough that you can probably find them pretty cheap, yeah, you know, at this yeah. point anyway. Oh. We also gotta talk about Astrobot. Oh. It started out as a demo. It was like, just like almost like a tech demo on the first demo disc. And then it turns oh, into really? this entire like if you look at the PlayStation One demo disc, which is a free download through the uh, yeah. through the store, um, they turn it into a full fledged full game, and it's seriously one of the best platformers yes. Yes. on the PlayStation yes. Four, VR or not. It yeah. plays like a Mario game. It, it reminds yeah. me a lot of Mario Sunshine because you can like jump and hover a little yeah. bit, collect coins and all that. This is one of those games where uh, if someone is either on the fence about VR, they're kind of like, eh, what's the big deal? Right. You put this in, and if they <laughs> like platformers, this is going to blow their mind. I think this game is so much fun. Right. It blew me away. I love how how creative the levels are, right. the boss battles, the things oh, to, to right. find and explore. It's just so good. And I it's mean, good to see that it's, you play, I mean, as a VR, like when you're wearing the VR, you play the camera. Yeah. Like, so don't think that of all VR games, you're just like, not all games are first person perspective, right. you know, immersive experiences, which some of them are. Um, but you just play the camera and you're controlling this thing, but then there's some items, like some hidden things that you actually, again, that six degrees yes. of freedom, there's something way over here. So you have to like look around, yeah, you yeah. know, and then you it's, see it over there. And you... <laughs> or way down below you, or, sure. I mean, it's such a clever and such a well-made game. It really is. I, I, I know, I'm so glad you picked that. No, it's cool. And a lot of the uh, newer VR setups come with that game like, as the back end, yeah, which is even better. It is because it's gonna, it, you know, it's gonna blow people away. Um, another game that comes with the pack in is uh, the game Moss, oh, which we've yes. had a lot of fun with. Yes. Um, talk about a, another immersive experience where it's like it's the storyline. It's a fairy tale story you play as like a mouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a sword, and, and he's all cute. You can like high five him and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but again, something about that game just makes you like live in that world and stuff like that. I was blown away even just yeah. like with the small tech thing of like there was a branch in the way and I tried to move around it and yeah. then the branch got caught up in my thing and <laughs> it, it also moved out of the way. It's like, oh, it's so weird. You look down in the water and you see a reflection and all that. That's right. And, and the other thing is a Moss is another just beautiful game. Again, mm -hmm. you know, in 2D, it, it may not blow you away, but in, in VR, oh yeah, you just, I would stop and just look at stuff. It's such a beautiful game. Absolutely. We got to talk about this game. It's one of my personal favorites. It is Firewall Zero Hour. Hmm. Uh, that game, that, that's the game I purchased as a bundle pack with my AIM controller, because it's AIM compatible. Hmm. Um, it is a uh, four-on-four um, online game. Uh, so you, and you can you can squat up with your friends, that's what I would do, and then or you can just jump in uh, any game and play along. Um, and you're either like trying to get to the computer or you're guarding your computer hmm. for the, the, the firewall, for instance. Uh, the nice thing about this game is, I mean, so you find the other enemies, you shoot them. It's another, it's a, it's a shooter. It's a first person shooter. Okay. Um, but when you're in these levels and everything, what I like about it is, not that I like dying in the game, but I'm not the best of these kind of games. Sure. Uh, when you do die, 
you become the security cameras. So you can jump from security camera to security camera and you're still talking to your teammates, but now you can see where the enemies are. Oh, so when they're coming around oh, the corner, they're like, cool. hey, they're coming around the corner, they're coming up the stairs, there's gonna be a guy right there and everything like that. So you're a constant communication uh, when you're playing this game. And it's <laughs> one of those games, uh, like we've all experienced where you just start, I'm just gonna play a couple of games and then I'm going to bed. And then when you take your V, and again, when you're in this world and you take yeah. your VR off, they were like, oh, and now the sun is up. Okay, I have to go to work in half an hour. Lovely. Real life, great, I know. That's, uh, so I haven't played this, okay, well that's- Yeah, that's, that's one we should uh, okay. definitely check out later on too. Uh, when it comes to driving games, there's a few driving games on the PlayStation VR. My personal favorite is Wipeout. Now I purchased this before there's even a VR mode yeah. with it because I love the Wipeout series. But now, if you find it now, it actually might say, you know, VR mode or something for the PlayStation VR. But it was a free download, a free add-on, because that, that's what I did as well. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, I like it because a lot of people, I mean, we, that's another thing we could talk about too, the whole motion sickness thing. Right. I suffer from motion sickness in real life, sitting in the back of a car, reading a book. Right. I can't do it. Um, I can do PlayStation VR just fine. Well, I'm the opposite. <laughs> yeah. So the nice thing about this game is you can actually decide where your VR is tracking. Now, if you want to yeah. play as the pilot and you're going around these corners and you're doing this all the time, not so much. Yeah. But you can say, just focus on the track. So that way you're looking at the track and then your car's the one doing all that and you just oh. go through the track and all that. So, I didn't realize you could do that. Okay. okay this, so. this made me puke. Well, I didn't actually <laughs> puke, but I wanted to puke in about 15 seconds. Right. When I first, I mean, it was amazing to play. Sure. Because it was tracking my head and on the, I mean, it was amazing, but right. uh, so I didn't realize that, that there's options. That's good to know. Yeah. So when you pick that up, I may help you go through those options. And the easiest way to do it is just say like, you know, focus on the track and then you can just, um, just be on the track and you're still right behind your car and everything like that. Huh. So, well, I, I would say, uh, and, I mean, this isn't part of your recommendations, that's but right. I was recently playing this week a Drive Club VR, oh, sure. which is another driving I love it. game. But, oh, yeah. but that's a uh, you know obviously more realistic. But mm -hmm. that one doesn't really make me sick, and it's really interesting because it, I think it's because maybe it's slower or it doesn't have sure. so much side to side movement. But another game is really fun. It could be absolutely. Yeah, yeah drive, drive Club VR is certainly worth checking out. Yeah, there I, is. I mean, there's like Gran Turismo as right. well, but that's also like a mode, couple of tracks. You can see the models up close. It's it's okay if you like Gran Turismo, but. You know, I want more. I want more game involved with my VR experience. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Well, um, you talk about experiences. You yes. got you to talk about Batman Arkham VR. Yeah. This is um, this could have been the tech demo licensed by Batman, I suppose. Yeah. Um, it was one of the first experiences that came out for the PlayStation VR. Um, it's pretty neat, though. I it's mean, very. It, it shows you a little bit about what all the VR things yeah. uh, can do. It's just, uh, kind of like these quick little missions. It's like, first, you're going to do this, mm -hmm. and it kind of walks you through what's going on. And um, I mean, you play as a detective mostly in this game. I mean, you, you're, you're kind of, I mean, mm -hmm. you're playing mostly as Detective Batman, which right. is cool, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, so not a whole, you're not like throwing fists and stuff like that, but you are doing like some crime crime scene investigation yep. stuff. Um, the first experience when you walk in there and you play the piano and you drop down to the Batcave and yeah. you know, the Batcave opens up. Oh, I mean, it's every and, it's every Batman's, dr you know, fan's dream sure. to, to go into the Batcave, right? Yeah. Oh, it's nice. And I, you, like, you put on the cowl, and then yeah. it actually shows a mirror. So, like, whatever you're doing in the mirror, it's reflecting that you as Batman. It's like, that's oh, it's right. cool. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. Huh. Okay. Yeah. And I, and this is the, again. I think this is not. You know, it's, it's not the longest game, but it is a cool experience. It is, and it's been out long enough. Um, I think I purchased mine at GameStop for like five bucks, six yeah. bucks. I don't remember what I, it was. I think mine was too. Yeah, <laughs> this is super awesome. Um, one game, there's a physical version of it. I downloaded it digitally, uh, but it's Creed, mm. Creed Rise to Glory. Um, it's based on the boxing series, based on the Rocky series, but you play as Apollo Creed. Um, it uses the move controller, so you will need the move controllers for that, but it is a boxing game where you're literally, you have the move controllers and you're literally throwing punches. That seems perfect. At the other guy. And it is huh. such a cool experience because when you're there and they're all right up in your face, and you have to punch them before they punch you. Um, I love the mechanic of if you dodge one of their punches, everything kind of goes slow motion. So you can kind of calculate it and then like, you know, get them or whatever. Oh really? Um, that sounds fun. It's fun too where like, and if you get knocked out, um, it's almost like your soul leaves your body. So like you fly way backward and you can see everything happening and you have to run back to your body before the count of 10. <laughs> oh, really? So you're just like, oh, you gotta run back where you were. And then once you get back in there, then the, you know, the fight leads on and um, it goes through there. And it's a lot of cool too. Um, 
because of the six degrees of freedom, even after, and I, I shouldn't even be saying this, but even after you knock them out, they're on the ground, the audience is cheering, you can go to the corner and raise your hands and everything's cool, and you might have Rocky Balboa at the corner down there, um, but you can also just also, like, actually crouch down and just start pummeling, pummeling them <laughs> while they're knocked out, if you want. I mean, you could, I guess. Not that you would ever do that. Yeah, of course not. I mean, you no, shouldn't, no. anyway. <laughs> like, that's just qualified for that, but... Um, hey, let's talk about this game. This is yeah. another one of those when it first came out. This is the uh, PlayStation VR Worlds. Yes. This is totally the tech demo. Yeah. If you have a PlayStation VR, it's the perfect introduction yes. to someone to play VR, even like grandma or grandpa. Yes. I was going to say that I when my mom came over here, yeah. and, uh, you know, hey, mom, do you want to check out VR? She'd never done anything like that. Sure. So put this on here, and she it blew her yeah. away and it was the perfect thing because this is this has many it's called worlds because there are many many different experiences on here there are ranging from you're in the water and you're and there's fishies yeah. and you can enable or disable the the shark if you want i was gonna say that, to please tell me that you put on the shark tank for your well I, I i asked her and she, okay. i think <laughs> I, if, I, if i remember right we did have the shark on for a little while all right but uh but anyways and you can kind of and, and then also the uh the london heist london one. heist it, london heist specifically was why i grabbed that for sure yeah because it you're part of this kind of like uh well, it's 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 a heist movie essentially, almost made made by uh, it's Guy like Ritchie, Lock, yeah. Stock, and Two Smoking Barrel yes, style. Yes. You know, oh, I love and, it. And and it has this great scene where there's a shootout on. It, it's it's like on a freeway and it's yeah. nuts. It's crazy. It's well, like you can like lean out the window and you're shooting guys. Yeah, and shooting yeah. guys over here. And it's so fun. You got your soda on the counter. You can drink that if you want or whatever. There's another one too where it, <laughs> it's the uh, what is it where the luge but you're on the street. Oh right, yeah. You know, so you're laying back and you're like, oh, it goes my, so yeah. fast. <laughs> it goes so fast. <laughs> but this is a, this is a great. I mean, I highly recommend people get this. Mm -hmm. Like the the moment you pick up your your PlayStation VR because you're gonna find something of interest in here. Absolutely, it's cool. Yeah, there's something for everyone. My, my kids love it just for like um, even my son who doesn't really play video games um, he loves just the uh, the water part like just where you're going down yeah. the thing and you see all the jellyfish it's you know neat, light actually. up and everything yeah absolutely uh, we have a puzzle game um, again it's available physically I downloaded it digitally because I couldn't wait to play Tetris Effect oh yes holy moly this is from uh, that's right Tetris yeah. from the makers of Luminous Luminous yeah, like yeah that's right the, the, the kind of PSP rhythm yeah. yeah so it's Tetris and I've probably bought in Tetris yeah. 30 times yeah. now <laughs> Uh, this and, 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 that's what I was thinking. Like Tetris, really? Yeah, do it's we another need Tetris version of Tetris. Yes, we do. Yeah, we need every version of Tetris. <laughs> this one is 100% my absolute favorite version of Tetris. I, I love, and as much as I love Tetris I 99 agree. already, um, something about the music that's involved with it. It's not really music rhythm, but the more you lay down, every level is has a different theme to it. Yeah. That unlocks yeah. the more you uh, build up. It has the new feature of you can kind of stop time and then try to get as many lines cleared as possible, so you can get like a uh, like an Octoris or a Perfectoris or something like yeah, that too. Yeah, that's right. Um, there's something about it that just makes it, and the VR element really is just you looking at it with the ambience all around you. Um, you can zoom in if you'd like and see this giant Tetris tower coming down at you, I guess. No, it's so cool. I'm so glad you mentioned that. I forgot. Right. To, actually, I let a, a friend of mine borrow it and I, I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those games, like as soon as you let, as soon as it's out yeah. of your hands, you're like, oh man. All right, uh, let's talk about Farpoint as well. It's another one of those games that you can use the aim controller if you'd like. You don't have to use the aim controller. If it's aim controller accessible, it's an option. You, There's no game that's aim controller mandatory. You know what I mean? Aim or move? Uh, aim. Oh, okay. Cause See, the, the gun looking one. Uh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, so you can use that one on here. Um, or you can just use the DualShock as well. It's one of those. You land on the alien planet. Yep. Um, you try to find out what happened along the way by kind of uncovering these um, story clips that have happened. Um, but it's cool to be on this alien planet and walk out there. It's kind of like when you open the vault for the first time and you're like, holy moly. Um, it's one of those games where you need to leave like the cave or wherever you are and you see like the world around you and there's this giant smoking spaceship that crashed yeah. or something. Uh, looks very, very cool. And then the aliens and the beasts that are in there. I mean, when the spiders are jumping at your face and you see these giant blob things that are chucking poisonous gas bombs at you and all that. This is one of those games where I was playing it and I, I yelled. And I, and I, and I you <laughs> nice. know, I mean, like in surprise, like, ah! you know? <laughs> And then yeah, you the realize, will do that for and, sure. and then you realize, oh, is there anybody else in the room? Because I can't see. If, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. This is a cool little, uh, you know, first-person shooter for sure. Really is. This is so good. Let's this talk is about so it. So good. So this is uh, Until Dawn: Rush of Blood. Right. And this is an on-rail shooter. This is a classic. It really is. You know, kind of like. Uh, I mean, it, you're literally on a rail. I yeah, mean, that's you're, true. It's a roller coaster. It is. <laughs> and. 
oh my god, this, this game is so well made. I mean, it's just, first of all, this is a game where I absolutely love playing it with the move controllers. Uh, yes. Two of them, because you can, you're basically, you're, there's so much going on anyways. That right. It's so much fun to play that way. Um, and you're just trying to shoot every single thing that you can. Mm -hmm. I love this game because the roller coaster is really cool. The way it, it kind of like it, it speeds up, it slows down. You yeah. go into buildings, you'll yeah, stop. You'll for, stop. Yeah. You'll stop for a little bit. I mean, and the, the scale of this. Now again, you're, it's going to be really hard to pick up on this video in 2D, but there are moments where you're just because it's kind of a fun house and so right. anything goes it messes with your mind <laughs> i does. mean really it's like it's so cool sure and there's different themes to each level too like one of them yeah. might be more clowns and one of them might be more zombies or yeah. specters or something so something cool to look forward to each time yeah there's it's lo lots to shoot at you know wonderful experience yeah man i'd love this game so much and again it's one of those where you're like i can't imagine playing it not in VR because right. it's so awesome in VR. Yeah, right? it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be. I mean, it would be okay. <laughs> kind of like, you know, Time Crisis or whatever. But, sure. But no, this is the way to play it. Absolutely. Um, I can't do a buyer's guide video without talking about Beat Saber. A game I haven't played yet. It is the game that's bringing back the rhythm game. It's the Dance Dance Revolution of this generation. Hmm. Um, there's something about it, even just like with most of these games, you look at the video footage and you're like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Um, it's that, and people have shared videos around it. It's like, oh, it's uh, it's lightsaber, lightsaber okay, uh, fruit ninja this. kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but something about it, again, with the music, when you're wearing it, you have to slice the blocks um, in rhythm to the music. Um, it's just a wonderful, super awesome experience. It's huh. hard to describe without until you actually play it for yourself, and you're like, that's why it's so popular. That's why it's so addicting. Um, the PC version has all these mods and levels, and people are up there doing their own stuff. The PlayStation version doesn't have all those like homemade mods, but the pack it comes with comes with a ton of songs, and they're still releasing uh, new song packs all the time, too. So they're really stepping up. Uh, what they can do for the uh, PlayStation VR. But Beat Saber's out there, and um, it's it's, I need, it, it's a must-have. Yeah, I need to check that out. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And then you, at the end here, you, you you reminded me... Oh, sure. ...that one of the really cool features of the PlayStation VR is that you can watch 3D movies, that's, like Hollywood movies. That's one thing that a lot of people don't yes. know or realize. Your PlayStation 4 is a Blu-ray player. Yeah. And with the VR, um, when you pop in the disc, it'll say, do you want to watch this in 3D? You say, yes, please. Yeah, yeah. It's um, awesome, too. So it's not like it's 3D all-around you movie. Um, it's just... you. Like, if the movie was shot in 3D. Yeah, so yeah. It, you get that depth to it. Like, it, just like if you're watching, you know, a movie at the movie theater, but you have to put on those weird kind of chroma lens glasses, the VR is those glasses. So you're just watching there. And the other nice thing about the VR is you can make the screen as big as you want. Yeah, I was going to say, that That to me, when I first did this, I was like, cause I, I was watching a, a Nicolas Cage drive angry, and I also put in... <laughs> uh, and I also put in like um, Harry Potter, the last one that was in 3D. Sure. And again, you know the the movie screen, quote unquote, right. is massive. I mean, it's just you know there's nobody in front of you, right? Because it's in VR. Right. It is a great experience. I was blown away. It's really cool. Um, it's gigantic uh, now because the, how the VR works, it is kind of it's still kind of pixel based. Right. So there might be that to contend with, but when you're watching the movie, you, I I kind of forget about it. Yeah. In yeah. a way. Yeah, that's true. And so you have a couple here that you you've. I just grabbed a few. I have a box. I have I have like thirty of them or something like that. Okay. I, whenever I find three D Blu rays at like, you know, garage sales or uh, pawn shops or something like that, they're usually. I mean, they're the pr same price as every other DVD, so I yeah. usually pick it up. But I mean, I grab things like you know, like Pixels in three D. Oh, okay. No, just be, because you know, Sim City. Yeah. Something like looking at Sim City in three D because kind of comic book style anyway. Yeah. So you got that. My kids, of course, love the uh, SpongeBob movie. I love the SpongeBob movie. Yeah, that, that, that is a great movie. Uh, but then you got to talk about things like uh, Paranormal Activity. Uh, <laughs> speaking of pooping my pants, I'm yeah. there. Interesting. Well, I think what you're highlighting here is kind of the surprise for me, is, and the reason why I jumped in on the PlayStation VR is because I think when it was first announced, many of us thought this was a gimmick. We thought oh, it yeah. was going to be about two months, you know, <laughs> and die off. And the surprise was, is that it hasn't died off. It's actually sold okay, Yeah. And but there are tons of games for it. I mean, there, there really are hundreds are. of games for it. Oh yeah. Um, they're gonna keep on making more games. Um, I was the same as you, I wanted to wait a year 
because it took less than a year for the Virtual Boy to <laughs> to stop, you know? Yeah. So I was like, I like it, it's expensive, but they've since dropped the price down yep. to make it a little bit more affordable. Uh, there's much more games you can find, both new games coming out, all the digital games that are in the yeah. uh, the uh, the PlayStation Store, the yeah. PlayStation Network Store, um, and then all the games that you can find, like many of these, I, pitch, I purchased, you know, relatively cheap at, you know, local game stores and all that. Yeah, so. it's, it's awesome. Well, very cool, man. I was very happy to do this. You and I have been planning on doing this because we're both really big fans of the right. VR, so it's we were, cool. It, there's never a convenient time because there's always a new, better game coming out yeah. next month. Yeah. So it's hard to say, but like, by the time we got you know Resident Evil and with Astro Bot and all that, yep. and um, who knows what the future holds, um, it's, um, I, I think it's fun. I think it's a fun experience, and, um, and I love it. Yeah. And speaking of, you have a bunch of VR content that you do. I do. And so where can people find you and that content? Um, my name is John Riggs, and my YouTube channel is John Riggs. Uh, all <laughs> one word, I suppose. So you can uh, search for me on YouTube. I'm also uh, on uh, Instagram and Twitter, at John Blue Riggs. You can find me there as well. And would invite you to join me in uh, checking out more VR games as soon as they come out. I love uh, pumping out videos whenever I can. Even stream on Twitch sometimes too. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care. It's always a pleasure to hang out with John Riggs again. He is the guy that loves VR and he knows so much about PlayStation VR. So real pleasure having him come over and do a buying guide with me. And speaking of which, while he was here, we also shot another video, a PlayStation VR hidden gems video that will be coming to my channel very shortly. So thanks again, John, for making the trip over the mountains to hang out in my game room. All right, guys, have a great day.